Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a few quick announcements, some channel updates for you. As a lot of you know, um, my LGS burned down. In case you haven't seen it, there's a video of it right up here. And that means that I haven't really found a way to put up new matches, new magic content in the meantime. Um, I'm sure that there are ways around that, but I don't have a Magic Online account. Um, I could try programs like Cockatrice, Xmage, uh, MTG Workstation, and if I were to go back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh, which of course you can also see I've done before, uh, I could go to playing Dueling Network. I don't really have any screen capture software, I'm sure that's not too expensive or too hard to get my hands on but I could try something like that, but otherwise, as far as paper magic goes, which is of course what I'd prefer to do greatly, I haven't really found much of a way, so occasionally people will come over and we'll get matches for you every now and then to be sure, especially my friend TJ, who you see on uh, Judge Dredgevine and Mono Green Infect all the time on the channel now. Yeah, that's TJ. Good guy, but he's one guy, so with a one guy with two decks. Other than that, you can expect magic or at least trading card game related vlog videos from me from time to time. That will that format will comprise more of the channel going forward. So I hope you don't mind that. Uh, if you have any ideas for what kinds of videos I can put up, then feel more than free to let me know uh, in the comments or shoot me a message on here and I'd be happy to at least take a look at trying to talk about that. I can't promise I can talk about everything. You asked me what magic was like 22 years ago, I, <laughs> I wasn't playing back then. I was not, I had not been alive for very long back then. You get the idea though. Another announcement for you. My brother, uh, you've seen him previously on videos on the channel. He is, he was Skyblazer, now he's Avarelian. He decided to change his username before he gets too attached to one. Uh, he is starting a gaming channel, so every now and then you might see me on one of his videos, especially if he starts playing something like Magic Online or any of the Duels of the Planeswalkers games. You might see me every now and then. I will keep you updated on Twitter. I will shoot out a tweet if I'm joining him for a recording, especially if we do streaming, because of course that's so time sensitive. Uh, so if you haven't followed me on Twitter, feel more than free to do so, link in the doobly-doo. And I have been considering uh, doing my own gaming videos as well. Um, it's... I don't want to... <laughs> a lot of channels have gone from whatever their content was to jumping on the gaming bandwagon um, and seeing people like PewDiePie and Markiplier and uh, Blue Zephos, that whole team, make make it so big on there. Um, but I need something to supplement the content because I just I can't record as many magic games or as many games period as I used to now that the shop isn't there. Um, so if you have any ideas for games that I can play, preferably that are free, <laughs> sorry but that is kind of important right now, if you have any ideas then feel more than free to let me know. I I'm an especially big fan of the Toho series, T-O-U-H-O-U. -U. The uh, bullet hells where all of the characters, asterisk, but pretty much all the characters, are girls shooting lasers and whatnot at each other. For whatever reason, it's just a, it's a very technical, it's a very precise game series, and I like that a lot. Uh, you've also seen me play Super Smash Bros. Melee, and I'm certainly a big fan of that. I have uh, switched over from... I was a Jigglypuff main, then I became a Luigi main after kind of falling in love with that style of play, and I'm going back to being a Jigglypuff main until I'm good enough to play Luigi competitively. I'm just not consistent enough with wave dashing and whatnot. Not right now. So uh, you may see some more Smash Bros. Melee content from me. And you might also see some collabs. Uh, Magic for Good, for instance, that's uh, Travis Wu's channel. Uh, he and I have been... we've worked together in the past, we might do some more going forward. I would like to work with other channels, 
If you have any recommendations, or if you yourself have a magic channel, uh, then feel more than free to get in touch with me and let me know. Swap deck techs or whatever. Whatever the case may be. More deck techs, that's another thing. Uh, you'll see more deck techs from me. As long as you don't mind my not having the actual cards themselves, you can see more deck techs from me. Um, I promise I'll, I'll play with the decks beforehand just to make sure that they work. Uh, but I can either show you in person with proxies, color proxies and so on and so forth, not just you know, a forest with Black Lotus written on it or something like that. Um, or I can just do this. Ancestral Vision goes in the deck because it's unbanned and it's amazing. Lightning Bolt is in the deck because you play it as a four of in every red deck in modern ever. Yo, my boy Gideon is upheaval, but he exiles instead. And you put them all in the same deck and you get... Jeskai Control! <laughs> I can do that. In any case, if you have ideas for other kinds of content that I can make, that'd be awesome. <laughs> just, again, just let me know in the comments or whatnot. I'll do what I can. It's, it's tricky being a magic channel that can't play magic as much, but I'll do what I can to get through this. In any case, thank you for being with me for so long. I very much appreciate it. It's still humbling to see that we're, we're over 3,100. 3,100. I know some people say one, some say the other. It's a regional thing, maybe? I'm not sure. In any case, a lot of subscribers. And that's... <sighs> Even at the number that I'm at, that's... <sighs> Alright. Well, hey, take care, everyone. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.